Welcome on back everyone to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 11 of our Village the Cursling Champions of Chaos campaign. In today's episode we are here uh, basically the exact same turn. I mean, it might be a turn later. Listen, it's been about a couple days. Uh, we have teleported on over from here right next to Krakadrak. I have used our Changing of the Ways to reveal the shrouds. We can see exactly what Katarin's armies, uh, what they're up to and where they are located. Mostly over here in the Darklands and they have a couple that are rotating up to, uh, not Prague, but Dushkia here. We got Lubova. Stefan Stefanovich and Torlana Gospodar. Glad she knows what she is. Uh, so we're gonna maybe try to sneak on over to Prague here with Roger. We've got him brought him on down out of the uh the canyon here. We'll see. Also, if their armies split up, we'll go ahead and just drop some teleports on top of them, depending on how strong these are. Oh, okay, well. Hmm. We may be on Operation Avoid until we get to conquering Prague then, because that looks terrifying, and I'm sure. Yeah, I was just going to say, I'm sure this one's not any better. Two elemental incarnates and beasts, which until we have a few more missile troops in this army, oh, those are going to be a nightmare. All right, well, let's go ahead and come out on back up to village here. We only have a few more souls to bag. We need 7,200, well, 7,160 to be exact. And that'll give us our last three rift sigils. And once we have all those uh, rifts opened, uh, we can then light the way to Zunbaijin. Uh, next turn, we'll go ahead and have the Eye of the Gods open. So hopefully we get a nice... Couple of good buffs for us, and for our research, we are up to 205%, and we are moving our way on along towards the Unholy Intervention. Uh, only one more for the Teleportation Stone, and then up to the Chaos Moon, and then on to our final uh, Zinch, uh, Zinch technology. And then from there, we'll just kind of fill in the rest until we have completed our campaign. It doesn't snow in Zinch's realm. No, it doesn't. It does rain crystals, though, which is oh, pretty it's unfortunate. You. It's you. <laughs> Good. Go on, then. That is the friendliest I've ever heard Village be with it in its scar brand. Join the coming slaughter. Uh, no, you can handle Nakari on your own. I declare on Nakari, and he's going to immediately come across the seas and start destroying my things. Uh, so, no. We are down to 38 factions. Uh, the Mutable Eye opens once more. We can go for my Legion's Ruin as my teacher. More experience gain. Marks of Glory, so... More levels kept when devoting to a god, and then a less soul cost of hope. Pretty solid. Gifts of my choice, or screamers. Actually, let's go for my underlings here. Marks of glory. 25% less souls. Actually, as I say this, we don't really have any of our lords there. Well, most of them are marked. We don't have any that are high enough level to actually get them up to the final tier. So we're going to go for my legions just for a little bit more experience gain across the whole board there. Because unlike you with your Demons of Chaos, your Lords have to hit rank 20 before they can evolve up into their uh, their final form and being the Demon Prince. I actually think I'd like to see that change. Oh, they've confederated. Everyone is the Ice Court now. The Ice Court is a insanely powerful empire. Uh, where Thaumann's long stride is not fast enough, teleportation will surely suffice. We don't get as good of one as... I think it's Kairos. No, no, it's... Uh, it's the Deceiver that gets 100% chance, or 100% uh, cost reduction to, uh, to teleporting, which is uh, silly. Oh, I thought we would not be taking attrition since we're... If this Interesting. Were a move on Krakadrak. Lost a couple of our soldiers, and it must have been because she made it to assault our units. We shouldn't have taken any attrition yet, but oh well. Uh, the Ice Court has some lads here behind the walls. Auto Resolve is going to annihilate them for us. That would be so, so boring. Ice Court, prepare to die. Alright. Although I'm not gonna lie, having two uh, legendary heroes in the same army is a, is a bit overkill. Legendary lore, legendary hero, legendary hero. That is, uh, it's supreme. Supremely powerful. Now let's go ahead and grab our... The thing about Kislevites is everyone's got a gun. So while this is probably going to be not the worst. Similar to here in the Grand Old Republic. There's a gun behind every snowflake, so we have to be we have to be careful on our advance here. We'll have all of the pink horrors as far back as possible, so at least if you're getting hit by anything, it's just the towers. We can absorb tower fire for at least a volley or two, but not not any more than that. In fact, I realize we need to go ahead and do the uh, double stack. Technique like I normally am here for sieges. Pink horrors and a double stack is glorious. I will go change bringers. 
back here since they can kind of hide back in the terrain a little bit more. Perfect. Uh, we'll have our big blue chicken here. The two spawn up front because, again, if, if anything needs to get shot at, I, I prefer it be the spawn or our chosen. Spawn by the tower is chosen by the guys on the walls. Our other halberd here chosen. We'll go ahead and throw in on... I guess we won't. We'll just gotta stack them up over here. Them behind, because I don't want them to be, get, be getting hit by these towers if we can help it. We'll go the big sedan boys, Harry and Village. We're just missing our Doom Knights. One more halberd here. In fact, let's go ahead and ruin their deployment a little bit by throwing one of our halberd warriors way back over here. A little bit of halberd who could. And then we'll go ahead and throw these uh, Doom Knights again further back. That way, you're going to be having guys on the walls. It's not over here by our main line. Perfect main characters, plus the big blue chicken. We need a name. We need a name for our big blur to change here. I realize he has been neglected this whole time. Also, going to go ahead and take our infantry off of guard mode. That way, they do keep charging through and dis uh, disrupting the Kislevite warriors there. Kislevites have a harder time. They can't fire. Uh, their pistols when they are in melee, unless they're in guard mode, so. Maka, climbing up her tower, you were. Where did all your energy come from? Big chunky potato cat. Having a good old time. Alright, lads, advance. I'll let you go ahead and hit the gates. I'm gonna go ahead and have my infantry take to the walls. Goes into each of those walls. How about the other side here? Oh, they got, they were really worried about our Chosen here on this side. Perfect. Well, I'll go ahead and bring these Doom Knights in on top of these uh, normal Spear Cossars in the back. Harry, come on up and help out with these gates. Send you over the walls, too. It's a definite maybe. Alright, let's go ahead and bring the Pink Horrors up so they can fire over the walls. We want them kind of at an angle so they can avoid the battlements as much as possible. You guys move on in. Sort of change. Let's go ahead and disrupt uh, those Khazar Spears, too. Get them a little bit closer here with them. Village is just absorbing their shots like a champion. Like the winds of change here. And we can even... Are these Exalted Pinks? They've got the tentacles that make me think they are. Either way, we're going to go ahead and delete this captain unit here. Sorry, Yuri. It had to happen. Blue scribes keep moving their way up the side. We've got the Fate of Juna. Not bad. I also wouldn't mind the Wall of Wind and Fire. Are those just dervishes? Not the strongest spells, but anyone that's trying to come off the wall is going to get torched. Order of Change, go ahead and blast your fire through here. I think those are armored cost so it was going to be nearly as much damage. Let's turn and throw the blue fire here before you land on in, and we can now go ahead and shift click. Here, that way they do both orders. We can queue one up. Well, let's drop it on through the gates. Aspiring champions to the walls. Gozen to the walls. We, some, we can summon them in behind their lines. That's that's not cheeky at all. Enjoy the pink horrors. Actually, I'd love to see if these are exalted. Now nah, the tentacles are a lie. I'm gonna bolt and change these dervishes. You guys in guard boat, even though they are going to take a lot of damage. Oh, they managed to dodge the bolt of change. Well done. Ah, those Gossars got annihilated. Well, let's go ahead and let them get completely finished off. A uh, village, you can probably use some health. Hey, you and Harry, go for the throw and killing blow there. I'll uh, come on across to help. I mean, the champions are doing fine. They're, they are cleaving their way across these walls. Bring the change bringers? I think so. So we will simply bring them in to set up here. Loose scribes, you're in a spot where no one's really firing on you, which I find be hilarious. Uh, you three go after the dervishes. What do we have here? Soul Blight, Stone Ground Stance, Sanctuary, Shim's Gaze, and the Cloak of Jet. Ox of Mishka would discourage everyone here, but that's going to affect our guys as well. Let's just go for the Soul Blight. Very cheap. Costing uh, armor reduction spell. Now we got Might of Heaven and Earth, Stone Ground Stance. We got lots of Cathayan spells going here. I like Banishment. 
see if we can get Harry in. Oh, we need to break through. Perfect. Send you guys on in. They annihilated those dervishes with a quickness. All right, come on back because I see Speltsy there, and I'd rather not see you guys get hit by them. Seed cores. Advance. All of our warriors here have won their battles. We'll just have them all advance up as well. How many of your warriors you head this way? Oh, these guys are all the way over here, are they? Hey, you guys just don't don't follow my orders. That's gonna get you killed. Page bringers forward. You guys go ahead and land on these Kossars. You seem to be a little bit confused. Eat up the hammer. Eat up our uh, recharge there. I'm thinking taking down Kiss of Lights with a blizzard is just poetic. Let's not overcast it. We'll just drop it in here. Armored Kossars are pretty dangerous. So we'll see how well you perform. Back, Doom Knights, go help. Change bringers obliterating some Kossars. We'll love to see it. Uh, can I go ahead and summon in a unit on... Let's say the high ground here. On a Zinch, go ahead and charge in. We need some help. Hammerstorm, clear them out. Peak fire, just in a normal form, should do a lot of damage to that poor group. Uh, we will bolt of change these Thrillsy. Get in yard mode, just fire on whoever you want there. Be disruptive is the uh, is the key. Harry, let's get us a, a slow motion hammerstorm attack. You can hear the guitar playing. And yeah. Uh, that's right. He is the Hammerstorm, although a lot of those guys are going to get back up, but not not after this. The Changebreakers come on in. We're getting shot at by someone here, so let's go ahead and get them away. Special shots are going all over the place. At least capturing the zones. We should have no more tower shots in a moment. Those pink horrors did... I mean, they did their duty. Go ahead and keep firing on the Citadel, see if you can. And then we'll go ahead and send my infantry. Uh, we'll do. We'll split them up. So let's go one set this way, then everyone else up the the street here. All right, champs, go ahead and disappear. Let's sneak up on them. Blue scribes, Blue scribes. let's move on in. We've got hailstorm, blossom wind, and oh yes, the people of Cathay uh, are gonna send you their greetings, especially in this hallway here. Every one of you out of there. I saw we were trying to do with the blue scribes. All right, rude. I'm still gonna do it. Get the angle right. They're gonna dodge it. Oh man, I would hit no one at all. Angle would have been right if our timing was a little bit better. Well, that's unfortunate. And can't be helped. We'll fade a June of these fools and keep on flying through. On of Zinch, can you boys come on in and help out? Actually, they're gonna get hit by uh, change bringers. We really don't want you over here. And you boys, a target. We'll go ahead and drop another bolt of change on I'd say these Stelsi just to weaken them. Pink cores, you're all in here. Go ahead and fire on the Stelsi. Bolt of change at least disrupts them for a moment. All right, operators, you go ahead and come on in. Take whatever zone you can there, and then these boys can just start moving up to capture this zone. Let's give all his extra goodies. We don't really need to go for any of our super special abilities just yet. Yeah, got shut up a little bit. We'll just have them fly over the top and uh, drop off. Here, let's just go for the Hawks of Mishka. Scare off these guys over here a little bit faster. They just realized that our sparring champs are here. They managed to close the gap before losing their barrier. Just be strolsy. Drop the hammer. You guys charge there. 
Yeah, it looks like because the lights are starting to break just due to uh, good old leadership. We'll go swift wing on this group. That way they can move a little bit faster. Uses the rest of our, our uh, winds of magic for the most part. Front group fire on the armored call stars in the back. Oh, nice. Burning Wrath. That's more going to be more dangerous than anything. We'll just drop the three out of each. They're going to be unbreakable for 15 seconds regardless, but it adds a little bit of an extra spark. That demise becomes a bit more humiliating. That is the end for another... This is the fight stronghold and another dog fortress for me. Alright, conquering a city and only losing one, I believe of our chosen, yep, one of the shield chosen is a perfectly acceptable loss. 427 souls for us in that fight. Uh, we gained so many for raising it. It's a dark fortress. We gained so many for raising it. But is it our fortress? Take it, brother! Take it, brother. Go ahead and let this army come on in and feed itself to our soul, our soul farm. We've got the Cultist Camp of Gems here, which is more wins and magic by only one. All right, was this worth it? Maybe. The answer is a, a very definite and hefty maybe. Go ahead and just chuck in the walls. We'll use this as kind of a an ambush point for everyone coming on in here. We've got Arcady and Valentine coming on in. But if we can use our ambush or our teleport ambushes, well, they won't really stand a chance. No matter how many armies they bring our way. Have to go standard die with the Curslings. We get that Master 24 uh, both leadership and melee defense. Blade shield for the Hammerstorm. Blue Scribe. Just go ahead and snag. I'd say dead magic, but let's go for ratty magic. Warp lightning is uh, horrifyingly effective for how, how cheap it is. Bane of Wizard's Existence. Warp lightning. Alright, Rolana and uh, Lubia are moving together. So what if we say no thanks to all that? Just trying to haul over here to Prague. We do have one army over here. Well, that's got old Rick in it. Also, it's gonna be a pretty scary I one. Serve only the ice court. Move get out of our, our ambush, and we'll just try to haul Sheik over here to Prague. Take another dark fortress from them. It may not work. On this side, we've got Stolten. Stolten's army is really looking real weak. Alright, Jaeger, we're going to have you advance. Never stop. And then we'll just teleport ambush on top of Orca Stolten here. Promise. Yoink, he failed to spot our ambush. Oh no. Auto resolve. He was still rocking his very beginning army. You can see his bear that he starts with here on Immortal Empires. Awesome stuff. Our Zangors did not handle that battle well. Neither did this group of trolls, particularly. Thousand souls for the fighting, and then we get 400 more. Fate breaker we are. Let's put us in a position where we can be attacked by Fyodor here in next turn, I'm pretty sure. Unless this is just showing he can't even get up onto this bluff, which is awesome. Oomda Ugu, and you can devote Jaeger to Zeech. I think we shall. Voted our last lad to Zinch with metal, so let's go ahead and get a lore of a Zinch sorcerer here. Zenith rewards me. A tune to Kyomon. Just probably giving us a little bit of a negative thing here. Servant of the Wind Lord. Oh no, it actually just gives him the pad the passive metal shifting. Oh, I like that. Getting yourself some extra passives. So if you were to then have one of the other lords that isn't for Zinch and you still send them to Zinch, they just gain the passive from whatever that lore of magic is. That means you should probably go for death, actually. Either death or... No, probably, probably just death. Because you get the the free winds of magic just for casting. Uh, let's go with the dominating presence here. Ring Welcome back, Rowan. Jaeger, as a lovely chaos sorcerer of the Your staff looks a little bit like you found it at the cosplay shop. That's all right. We accept you all the same. What? Tricks for sure, I'd say, is better than just about everything else we've got here. We've got enough items I can start to combine them, but let's come on into his skills. We've got Vile Enchanter and Malefic Sorcerer. I'm going to go ahead and ignore those continuously here. And 
Yeah, let's start getting into his more elite, his more elite spellcasting. Uh, Plagueis will give the blade shield and transfer over to a wound maker. Big Harry will grab training. It's your little Harry. Three-headed Harry. Uh, Village, I'm not sure what you need. Doomfire is a uh, buffing up mortals. Monster strength buffing up our spawn, which we don't have that many of. Missile resistance is not useful for someone they don't really shoot at. We might just make him infernal champions or buffing up village's attack itself. Because he doesn't have very much armor piercing, I don't tend to worry about uh, village's combat stats. But, well, you know what? Freakish mutations would be great because it'll give all of our... Where's the one that helps out our Doom Knights? Of course they're separate. Uh, so you need... Yeah, you need both. Or you need one or the other. Feed and Malice will also buff up our Lord of Change, though. So I think that's that's just fine. We'll grab, we'll go ahead and grab that one. Come in. We might you even just get all of the, uh, the elite skills. The longer we make change. our armies, the easier it is to curb stomp our foes. Building upgrades. I think at the, the Forbidden Citadel, grabbing the Strategy Chamber is going to be a really good call. Getting these over in other settlements, too, is going to be a good one. Maybe Altar for Crimson here. We go ahead and chuck in our Strategy Chamber just to make up some more gold. You can come from buildings in adjacent allied or vassal regions. Plus 20%. Buzzle how much your vassals are making, which, since they did fix the vassal income, is actually pretty useful because it's going to make those vassals make more gold. Which you can then siphon. I have enough for one here. Perfect. Same kind of thing then. Since both of these are port settlements, they will be making me a ton of cash once we get that up and running. How many souls are we away? Just oh, 4,000. Oh, 4,200. Bring yourself on in here, Valentine. We need we need some more souls. Other thing I did is I switched out our uh, soul grinder uh, gift for the one that gives us more research rate. Because we had two soul grinders and couldn't really afford to actually recruit them. What can the masters of Misrule do for you? Her friends up there breaking things still in Slanesh's realm. He he declared war on Slanesh and has just been a, annihilating them ever since. A non-aggression pact for Kugath. Sure. Southern Corn has built their construction of an outpost. We have some blood letters hopefully defending us now. Arcadies over here. Okay, so that means that other army is over somewhere ambushing. You silly sods. You know what I can do is come on in and go at any point in time. Hey, are your people? Oh, is the shroud still revealed? Oh, it, re it does last for five turns. If we read, we'd know that. But this is the only army they have. That other one is is definitely in an ambush somewhere along the side. Can I? A quick shortcut. Oh, you're so lucky! I can't reach you. Just barely. This See, I'm not keen on fighting two armies at once. I can't lie. Here's what we'll do. Oh no, the walls are fully. See, if the walls are full strength, I can fight two armies behind behind our garrison here, no problem. Bring it on in, Arcady. We can take you. Especially if we muddle your minds on up. Enjoy. Village has sent his uh, muzzle relaxants to their camp and has worked wonders. So neither of them can reinforce Prague. And we made it end up raising it. The cursed city, uh, you can be cursed once more. But we'll move on in. They give us a close victory. Griffin Legion. Listen, I've broken a couple of Kiss of the cities. I'm happy to grab a not a resolve where I can here. Oh my. Oh my. We're going for the raise. Cursed city has been burned to ashes. So we're here for we're here for Zanbai Jin, not the cash. Village cares zero for gold. Roger, thank you so kindly. Final rift sigils have been gained. Claim the final rifts to complete your teleportation network that shall lead you to the final battle at Zanbai Jin. 
we are very ready for. So I've said a couple times, the only thing I might switch out is the Lord of Change, which I have just given us a buff for. Sweet, so where are those rifts we need? We just have to unlock pretty much any of them. And you can't unlock the ones to Jean Baizhen themselves, you have to get all of the rifts unlocked and then you get a little cutscene. So let's do just that. Herald of change. Yeah, you're gonna go ahead and have you abandon Earl. A change of scenery. Earl can handle himself anyway, as is. Uh, especially if we come on into our upgrades. Can we get you guys? Oh, we can't. Rank five. Y'all are slacking. We can make you horse masters, though. And nothing else can be upgraded. All right. Well, if you're trying to do an undivided hero as the Zinch champion, weirdly enough, it makes the Zinch champion difficult to, or the undivided difficult to level up. Let's go ahead and open the rift. Lots of good opportunities. There's actually none up in Slanesh's realm, which is kind of interesting. But there is one right next to Infernius. I'm sorry, there's two rifts here. That doesn't make a lot of sense. This one may be an accident. It sulks away, starts crying in the corner. Alright, let's go ahead and yoink our way through here. We'll lame this rift. Ever change. We'll do the same thing here. Gotta be really careful while we jump. There are Kiss of the White armies all over the place. Wouldn't mind grabbing one here, though. Don't care about trespassing on Goldtooth. And then our last one, we can claim... i we'll have to deep strike further into enemy territory, but I don't know how easy that's going to be. Oh yeah, over here in Zifbar, perfect. The skies above the altar of battle broil in a storm of magic. A portent of power for which chaos thirsts. A beacon for the final conflict. Alright, the path to Zan by Jin has been revealed. This is some beautiful art, by the way. Uh, use your network of Chaos Rifts to reach the altar of battle and claim your place as the champion of chaos and ascend your chosen god. At last, the blasted plateau of Kadatha reveals its ancient secret. A hidden corner where sits the twisted ruins of Zanbai Jin, a place older than the race of men, obscured from the mortal plane by a thin veil between worlds. With the sigils learnt and invoked, a passage to the city's cursed arena has opened, where over the centuries numberless would-be champions have come with their followers to go to battle where their rivals improve themselves to their patrons. Yet here, not even the laughing gods could claim the souls of the fallen, for the ancient altar of battle has always taken them as its own prize. Until now, the altar's bounty lays bare. The next champion of the fallen city shall be its last. To claim it to the, th the to tribute that will change the course of history. The chaos god is about to rise. Make the journey to Zanbai Jin and ensure that it is yours. We'll begin the champion of Zanbai Jin a trait. Uh, 10 extra rift sigils and a 10. I'm sorry, 100,000 souls. Alright. And this is where we'll be facing off against the other four champions. I can't wait. And we came up on the end here extremely quickly, didn't we? Well, we can even just leave Crockett Rock to its own defenses and then head on back around. I wanted to actually get access to all of our kind of final technologies here. I mean, just Gate of Zinch for all of our aspiring champions is going to be ridiculous for that final battle. So let's at least wait the three final turns. And Holy Intervention's nice, but not not as, use, not as useful as the Chaos Moon. Yeah, we'll hold the line here in Crocker Croc. I'm going to go ahead and chuck in the Rage Rope. We can make a little bit more cash. And we'll upgrade the uh, settlements that are further from home. Or further towards actual home. Vassal Tribute here in the Doom Keep. And any more of these that make us more cash? I think the Chaos Shrine, 30% more favor, sounds perfect. Alter the Crimson, if we get anything better here too that increases our favor. 10% more and more research rate. Let's go with the Chaos Knight uh, path there at the Altar of the Crimson Harvest. And that pretty well drains our cash. Alright, village, we know you, you can move, but for now, you're just going to stay here and defend against the Kislevites. 
and then we'll kind of fall on back towards this rift, which should take a nice three turns. All right, sweet. Anything else we get to before we do? Can we spawnify and change some of the guys? Hang on. Keep your yeah, that'll, that'll upgrade these because the white warrior just spawn. All right, so besides village, who needs to be moved? Earl, my friend. And you teleport up on Fyodor. Ooh, maybe. My lord, since agrees. Nope. Just barely not. Uh, uh, yes. All right, let's sneak on back into the backwoods of Leblia then. The gods direct me. And try to get, catch them. I want to be quite neck to the city. And this army that we have all the way down here in Kids of the Light territory, can you actually get out? Oh, so far is undefended. And so is Oakenhammer. Look at that. Baker, you got free reign down here. Let's go Warhounds and just some more Marauder. Well... Let's go Trolls for some armor piercing. That was out against the Kislites. And we can grab some uh, weaker units here next turn. A lot of these settlements we can probably even just hand over to Astrogoth. I want to claim the one that has the iron. So that should just give us more armor for all of our Chaos Warriors faction-wide, which I, I like a lot. Alright, let's figure out who else has been moved besides Village. Really wants us to scoot Village around. Roger will give you the deeper galley pot. Good old prismatic plurality here on you, Gary. Followed by magic reserves. All right, all right. We come back up to village here, and then we'll end the turn. Bring it on, kiss the lights. Right, Valentine and Arcadia are here. He, he was indeed ambushing, but they are not brave enough to come fight us. It is treason to command me. It's treason to command me. I'd probably rather no ambush this army. Power than I. So we'll go ahead and ambush Valentine. Boyars bow to no one. Yeah, sorry, buddy. We're not even gonna call you Valentine. We know what your name is. So Yoink. And we will auto resolve this one because he gave us a decisive victory, and then I'll fight the next one. The Not bad at all, and we're going to be fighting at a little bit of a disadvantage, which I'm here for. Uh, we'll go sacrifice those captives. The other army falls back. Oh, well, of course we can't we can't teleport again. Well, maybe Arcadia's going to run away then. His army is way stronger than his. Alright, well, that's a little bit anticlimactic. We'll go ahead and grab the Freakish Mutations so, so all of our troops are nice and upgraded. This gives us a nice... I don't really care so much about the, the melee attack here, but the ward save for all of our war beasts. Absolutely. A twisted twin. Blade Shield. I'm thinking we will snag uh, the Elf Magic next. And, well, if we can grab Elf and Dead Magic, we shall do so. We'll finish it up with the Primal Magic there. We get Big Wall, Little Wall, Lord of the Wild, and the Great Maw. I also really would love to have the Cataclysm spells for our final battle. That would make it so much more uh, cinematic. By the Eldritch, I also, Fyodor ran. Listen, buddy. We need your souls. Come back here. Very well, I'll move. Very well, I'll move. Also, really love to fill up one of these Kislevite armies with spawn. One of the ones that have uh, much stronger units. Uh, Siege Corruption's looking nice here. Alright, Roger, we gotta find a way to get you out of here. An ice witch bows to no one. These ice witches are gonna mess you up otherwise. The great game. The let's, let's just, let's just run. All cheek. And how, how corrupted is the area for Siege? 51 going up by only one. Here's what we'll do. We'll have Roger. Make the area extra zinchy. There it is. And then we can reveal Shroud, Spawnify. We'll go ahead and save the rest of those there. As for our Gifts of Chaos. Actually, I actually think we have just about the perfect gift set up here where we've got more experience coming in from Undivided, uh, more experience gained for Zinch units, more research rate by 35%. Only thing I might like more right now is instead of this one. 
the Arrows of Destiny. So we have Gaze of Fate. I think Gaze of Fate's better than just a single summon, so we'll go ahead and remove this gift, and we'll pop in a good old Arrows of Destiny. The unfortunately a dead and dying game. Go ahead and grab the strategy chamber. We have to get the, the minds of our Norskins much sharper. As far as the rest of these go, I probably want to actually take out most of these caves or the, the better version. So I'm going to. We'll lose 2% of our... I realize I built that one up for no reason. As soon as I, I, I saw my uh, mistake and that your, your advanced military buildings actually count, the Fighter's Lodge is the only ones I would say are worth putting in. Also, we have the Monolith of Katam, which I have kept in my possession for a little bit too long. We'll go ahead and give this over to the scaling. Enter, then. Are you after a drink, a fist fight, or both? You go ahead and take the Monolith for 3,000. The Tribe Consents. The Tribe Consents. I hear a Doom Keep. We can go for... Just give us more Exalted Heroes. No, so you only get one additional per one of these buildings you have. Go ahead and tear out the growth building here. And the growth building at the altar. Upgrade our strategy chamber sounds nice. Takes us up control really well, too. I must wait before receiving more gifts from this god. Really? I'd prefer to not. Oh, bad. So bad. Stop moving, brother. I'm talking Hello there, to rat. He wants a defensive alliance. See, I don't know who you are, but if you become my vassal, you are going to get all of the extra barrier. Okay, Chaos Thing, I accept your treaty pledge. Oh, good, so far goes up at level. So I guess it was it was thinking he's still being told to move that last... Up to this last portal. It's just kind of the thing that happens. So now we've got Kislevites probably hauling cheat to get back over here. Uh, how defended is Zephar? We could break it if we had a single change bringer. Magic of chaos. Magic of chaos. Alright, uh, Jaeger, we're going to have you just... Forging into the unknown. Start Tom Cruise sprinting down here to Oakenhammer. I thought we are going to be doing some replenishing, but the fact that we're not is a little bit not good. Uh, let's go one more Chaos Troll and a giant to knock down any walls, and then... And Warhounds are fine, and so is a Manticore for hunting down Ice Witches. Now, us being all over the place like this has them way confused. Village, I'd prefer not to stay here forever fighting all these armies. You dare give me orders? I do. I think I'm gonna teleport behind you and take out Kazimir. Magic it's gonna be great. Oh no, they failed to spot our ambush. Oh, Felix and Godrick are here. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and have ourselves one final battle for for this episode because I don't think we're gonna get many many good ones here going forward up until we get to Zanbaijin. So let's have a, a fight for us. Right, now we can have the dynamic duo of Harry and Village versus Gotrek and Felix. Well, this should be great. Here's what else we'll do. So likely most of the Kislevites are going to turn and run for the hills, including their Frostworms. So what we are going to do is throw in our two Chosen on the very base of this hill. The aspiring Champions behind them. We'll go ahead and actually spread them a little ways apart. The Aspiring Champions are, are horrifying the effect of it blocking a line. We'll go Harry up front here in the village. Blue Scribes will be slightly behind. We've got a lot of fire. A lot of firepower in the back line there. We will go Exalted Pinks. Good news is they have all a line of sight based weapons where we have our uh, flames we can chuck in the air. Yeah, the change bringers actually in top of our, our force to start. That way we can move them in. Well, we don't want them exactly on top of do we? That would be a mistake. 
but I'm pretty sure we can use these guys to delete Gotrek in a volley or two. His lack of armor really coming, coming to bite him there. Let's go to Halberdier Warriors of Zine to the back here just to stop Sprawl Swarm coming around, other than one up front. Ready to go find some targets. Hide the spawn in the woods. I will have the Doom Knights in the back here. Looks pretty good to me. Main characters. Mortal infantry, demonic missiles, and then our big beaters. Let's start with Hide Call. Some pretty decent ones. Hour of Darkness. Some that are not as decent. I'm just gonna gateway a Zinch here. And a blue fire. I didn't mean to hit Felix, but it happened. Where's Gotrek at? There he is. Rangebringers, that's your job. Delete. That is a fantastic gate of Zinch there. Oh yeah, no, Gotrek didn't enjoy that at all. Alright, here we go get him. This is a good old uh, Freezed of Zinch here. Blue Scribes come on round. Looks like uh, their Drugina Casimir here has caused some issues. He thinks he's brave. Here he's getting wolfed on a little bit. Let's actually use our Doom Knights for their job this time. They've got a nice bombardment spell that's really useful. And gaze of fate on. Where is where'd Gotrek go? Oh, I guess here he got him. Gotrek. Oh, Talons of Night. Time to get in some uh, Meow Ying spells. You guys come on back. We'll go ahead and do the good old shift one to uh, shortcut drop those. Oh yeah, they're focus firing our uh, our blue scribes pretty hard there. Get back behind the line. Trees does each is not going to be useful there. Flamethrowers are a good grief. You might you guys go ahead and pull away. Looks like you're fighting two frost worms at once, which is a nightmare for you guys. Focus fire uh, the snow leopard for me. They're really easy targets. Unchange bringers. Bring the blue scribes up and around. We go for the Malediction of Madness. Or of the Hag. So this is a spell I have not used. I don't think we need any Rampage here, but we'll go for it. That is a fantastic battle. Kiss the Vites caught and melted. We've got plenty to run down, and I'll catch you all in a moment. All right, another decisive victory. Godric and Felix did absolutely nothing there. Turns out Flamethrower's very effective with heroes. 940 souls there, and we can also just go ahead and sacrifice those captains for a few more. There goes some, uh, some legendary heroes like they were nothing. And now we just have to deal with Arcade. We could choose to go straight after Crocodroc, which would be... All the knowing wouldn't really be that big a deal. And block his army so he doesn't get away, though. I think it's abusing. Or Ventress can trip on a rock again. Actually manages to succeed. Well done. Of course. Of course. Thanks to you. You have uh, hurt yourself more often than not there, my friend. Monstrous Strength, Doom Fire. I don't really see a reason to make Village himself stronger. Okay, so what we'll do then. As like he's he's been doing just fine without without any further 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 assistance. So we will go for hammer and anvil. That way our Cavalry has a little bit more charge bonus, and then eventually more melee defense too, so they can stay and fight stay longer without taking all that damage. A hammer storm. Go ahead and give you a little bit more health. I guess scarred veteran. Magic and misrule are mine. Rise and get the invulnerable through ch invulnerable through change. Blue flame bombardment as the blue flame explosions. 
Well then, don't mind if I do. Explosive damage, 30. Armor piercing, 20. Yeah, not bad. Alright, we'll get ourselves another one of our Gifts of Zinch active here. Wait, what happened? Did I, did I deactivate the wrong one previously? I thought we had these two and the research rate one going. Oh, I must have deactivated the wrong one. That does happen. It was Let's grab the spoiled war here. We have so much gold, we can kind of upgrade the rest of our Dark Fortress quite nicely. Forbidden Citadel. Yes, please. Do can keep. These vassals make more cash. Altar of the Crimson Harvest. We'll go ahead and chuck in the Manticore Den for even more favor from all the buildings here. I eventually we'll do the same up here, too. Alright, sweet business. We will do nothing in this province because we have no money. Hey, girl, we do have a little bit more cash to give you some more warbound recruits. Problem is, these are not great. Fair enough. Back up to the village, and who hasn't been moved? Roger. Yeah, we can't can't forget you there, Roger. In the middle of running for your life, like you are. They are going to likely be able to corner him. What if we try to sneak into the forest here? Otherwise, I think uh, this army's in a lot of trouble. Unfortunately, it just got a little bit overextended, and I thought we could sneak our way through. They have so many armies in there in Kislev, especially after they confederate with the Ice Court, or with the uh, Kistaltan's faction. Of course, we do any damage here. Fyodor is staying just outside of your range. We're going to our way over here towards uh, Alexandrinov then. You know, our building upgrades come to Village, and that'll be kind of the last turn here for this episode. I do so enjoy it. Willing, How are you doing, Nikari? Military access for 4,000. I mean... Get hurt? You're either gonna lose to Scarbrand or you're not. There are many rituals dedicated to the Great Sorcerer, but this one has been found deep in the Ninth Library, and its power is unknown. Yet we're about to find out before the Acolytes of the Changers start the ritual. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and join in. This Poor Katie. Is a failed state. This is a failed state. Okay, so here this is this is interesting. His since his ambush managed to succeed, we could probably attack Yetit Yetic. Without taking too many casualties. And village can just quickly wipe this army out and keep moving. Oh, they will die! They will. We're not gonna go for the ambush here so we can re retain all of our movement. And then a haul. Up towards the uh, the rift, vigil around the corner. We fight as right as I. Rest in peace, this Drugina. Yes. We'll sacrifice them, them as well, and we'll swap over to that march dance to get moving. Even if Katarin comes over to reclaim Kraka Drak, we will then reemerge from the rift as a champion of Zanbaijin, and I don't know what she's gonna do then. Simple bow. Go ahead and grab Hammer into Anvil times two. All babbits. Big Harry gets the Scald Veteran. The twisted twin. That's our primal magics. Now we can go ahead and grab our Cataclysm spells too. One more skill. For the great game. Roger, you're down to half health, but here's the thing. For the great deceiver. We can move on Yechich. Lose That's really no one. Believers. Thank you for the gold. We gotta be greedy. And just go ahead and claim it as one of the uh, the different shrines of chaos. We'll the motherland again. You will. I'm sure I am sure of it. However, I also don't care. Go ahead and chuck in the ritual hut so we can try to replenish as quickly as possible for Roger. 
Right, we just need to get him out of here. You've claimed this for a very short period of time. Pull some respite. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab. I think March is probably what we want. We get three casts of Gaze of Fate, which is a negative 40 melee attack and cannot move. You get three of them. For a missile uh, focus faction, you can uh, guess is quite powerful. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade the strategy chamber here. Upgrade our Shaman's Temple for 10% more. I think not. We'll first grab the treasure house. And then the horse barn. Awesome. The twisted twins. Ice Tooth Mountains, we could probably get in. Uh, now we can't. We cannot. We can, however, grab the Chaos Shrine here in the Troll Fjord and make 30% more gold. Alright, so we business back into village and the turn. Well, I guess we need to make sure everyone else is not in danger. That's we have been doing a pretty poor job of recently. I serve only the ice court. No, they reach us in March. I. I don't know if they can otherwise. Okay, here's, so here's what we'll do, Earl. You have I'm to switch back to being sneaky. Go over here and hide in this little crystal forest. And then we'll see how they move to either attack Leblia or defend Alexandrinov. We'll make our move from there. Oh, sweet. You guys can actually be promoted, so we'll go ahead and grab two more. We'll grab one more Axon board lad, and then one that is the Halberdier. Awesome. I think you guys can also be taken up to Horse Masters, which are. At least more range and a little bit more damage. And about it all, we just need these guys up to rank 5, and we have a full suite of normal Chaos Warriors. We might want to go ahead and reveal the Shroud on Katarin's Empire again as soon as possible. As soon as we do lose it, that way we can just kind of keep an eye on everything that's going on there. Shroud is revealed. We have so many souls, it would be a shame to not use them to keep an eye on everyone. Jaeger and Kevin. Likely capable of taking down Oakenhammer. Change is inevitable. Oh yeah, definitely. Herald of change. This is what we'll also go ahead and claim and put down the, the building that gives you more souls. For your battles. We'll sack it first, of course we may not be able to move after that though. Ooh, a demagogue. Perfect. Armor of fortune. If it's just, I'm actually gonna switch the leeching for a forbidden rod. Armor of Damnation. What's this one do? Armor and resistance, but only if you're in melee and your health is greater than half. Well, not bad. That can definitely backfire on you pretty quickly. Little amulet here. Do a little bit of fusing. Need a beguiling gem. That is a slow nush item. Less speed. Sounds good for uh, for Zinch. Yeah, you're gonna get Root Marcher and then point into devotees of chaos. With this, I will so change. Indeed. I think we have any more enchanted items to give. Oh, we do have a Kurgan chieftain here, so more income from sacking. We only have the one. I will go ahead and grab then the transmutation of lead. Pretty well finish off Kevin's uh, spellbook here. All right. And only our uh, spellcaster has enough movement. So we'll go ahead and steal some tech. Pass glory unlock. Well done. True chaos awaits. So you've got oppressive force active as well as arcane exemplar. Awesome. 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 Interested also love to have you steal some more techs. Come on up here to Shock Rockin. Tell some story about Zarina Katarin on her, her super battle sled. You are a terrible, terrible hero. Failed me for the last time, bad boy. Roger, do you have anyone we can upgrade? It looks like not yet. Zangors can't be upgraded. He might be able to, actually. Break 8. Almost, sir. You have survived a long, long time, and you are elite. 
That's all that matters. Then the last room is going to be our final intern. We'll go ahead and do one more. Just to see how things play and pan on out. Of course you come to me. An agent of the changer. Yeah, it's a ton. Dual tornado beard. Once a non-aggression pact. Sure. Alright, we've got Earl as an empty skater, and the Chaos Moon is now research. So when Morrisley bays the land in its sickly glow, the Curseling's capacity for power greatly expands. This is more active as Zinch gifts. Uh, break alliances now, and then we can go ahead and use the Gate of Zinch for all of our aspiring champions. And devour Rick and Magnova's soul. Yes. On it, boss, don't worry. Alright, well, we'll probably pick things up in the next episode one turn from now, as we're just reaching the portal here to, uh, launch ourselves towards Zanbai Jen. Uh, thank you all so much for stopping by today's Village the Cursing campaign. If you all enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub for the sub throne. See you all in the next one.